everyone, welcome back to another Scratch tutorial. In this video, I'm going to show you how to make a bubble popping game using your camera on Scratch. Let's get started. So, what you're going to want to do is go ahead and go to Costumes, delete the costumes, and now we need to make a bubble. So, you can just go ahead and make a circle and make it the color of the bubble that you want. You can even use the gradient if you really want to and make it look really fancy. So, here's my bubble color, and you can hold Shift while dragging to make a perfect circle and then put it in the middle. And there's your bubble. And now it's time for the code. First, go ahead and add the camera extension. Now I'm gonna cover my camera so you guys don't see me, but, and you're gonna want to go ahead and turn your camera off just for simplicity's sake and lag. Um, and now it's time for the real code. So, go ahead and when green flag clicked, go ahead and forever, and then add a weight block and wait, pick random, and you can make any number you want in this random. I'm going to do 0 0.25 and 0 and 1, sorry, 0.10. And what that is, is that's the interval between bubbles that will be forming. Now it's time for the next block. Go ahead and set X to, and now this will be another pick random, so you can just go ahead and duplicate that over. And I'm going to, what you need to do is negative 240 to 240. And what that is, is it's making it so it's either going over here, or it's going anywhere in that range but staying on the x-axis. Okie doke, so now it's time for the set size block. So go ahead and set size 2, and then again, pick random. I'm going to do 50 and 120, so you can get some little bubbles and some big bubbles, but you can do whatever numbers you want again. And then you'll want to just go ahead and create a clone of yourself. All of that is just for clone setup, not for the actual bubble to do anything. And now, at the top, you need to make sure that the bubble will go to a certain Y position. So you can just go ahead and drag it to the bottom left corner, or bottom right corner, it doesn't really matter, but just the, on the bottom. And then go ahead and just drag that up. And then you want to hide the bubble, so that you don't see a bubble bouncing back and forth. Now it's time for some more code. Go ahead and when I start as a clone, which is down here, if I can find it. When I start as clone, go ahead and show, because remember the main bubble is hidden and now we need the clone to be shown. And then repeat until, and then you're going to want to repeat until motion on the sprite is greater than any number you want. The higher it is, the harder it is to pop your bubbles. I'm going to do 25 just for a nice easy pop, but you can do, once again, whatever number you want. Inside of that loop, go ahead and change Y by, once again, any number you want, but I'm just going to do 2 for a nice slow rise up. And then, if the Y position is, and you can choose a number here, is, let's do that. That is at 155Y. So, if Y position is greater than 155, then you'll want to have it delete the clone because it's reached the top and you haven't popped it so you can just go ahead and delete the clone to make way for more. And then at the very bottom, so once the loop is done, if it didn't, if it got popped, you'll want to delete the clone because it's been popped. You can also add the popping sound if you want, um, which is up here, but my thing for some reason can't record it, the sound, so you just go ahead and add that in. But yeah, and that should be working. And so if we want to go ahead and test it now, let's do that. But first, go ahead and like and subscribe if you want to. I mean, I do videos every day. I mean, right now I can't be watching you guys because I have to upload quite early for you guys to be able to watch it. But spam pog, let's just say that. Okie doke, enough with the pogs. Let's go ahead and play. And you can see them forming. And my camera's off right now. And I'm going to turn it on now, just for you can see that it works. Okie doke, there it is. You can't see me. Ha ha ha. Um, but now you'll want to play, it, and then you can pop. Pop. And it's quite satisfying when, if you get the popping sound in it, too. But yours is going to be a lot smoother because you won't have to be recording. But, yeah. Thank you guys for watching. Be sure to comment any suggestions you have. And I'll see you next time.